Good afternoon, friends. Happy Sunday. We are getting ready to go to Saucy Brew Works with our friend Claudia, who we've not seen in about 100 years, it feels like, during this pandemic. She's coming here. We're going to go there. We're going to meet Anne there. We looked at the menu for Saucy. It looks really good. There's some stuff we're excited to try. They have good beer. We have their beer at work sometimes, so I've experienced that. But the atmosphere also looks very cool, so I'm really excited to check it out. Claudia should be here like any minute, so we'll see you at Saucy. Oh my god, the swings. This is so fun. If nothing else, would you take my picture on the swing? Of course <laughs> we don't I'll have to sit on the swing. swing. This course. is too fun. <laughs> also, hi, Claudia. Hi. We're not gonna like sit and eat on the swings, but I'm gonna come back to these. I'm gonna have a beer and come back to these swings at some point. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> All right, we can find out real place to sit. I'm just very excitable right now. So this is basically a restaurant from the future. There's a QR code right here and you download the app and then on the app you order everything. There's a table number over here and you say I'm at this table and you order and you pay for everything on the app. And when you sign up for the app, if you sign up for the loyalty program, you get $5 right off the rip. So I just ordered myself a little flight for samples and with tip included, that was just $5, which is pretty good. I think it would have cost like 10 otherwise. So if you come here and you haven't been here before, sign up for the loyalty program because $5 is $5. Anne has joined us now. Everybody is on the app ordering some stuff. This place is very cool on the inside. I really like these booths. Look, like, It looks like they're held up by belts. That's very fun and funky. My sample, look, it came in a muffin tin. <laughs> so cute. So I have the habitual, the apple saucy, the Chewbacca, and the white light. Oh, sorry, the Chewbacca. So Steve and I both got the apple saucy. Cheers, we'll give this a shot. Ooh, that's very good. That's, good. that's really, really good. All right, we got a winner already. A little bit sour, but okay. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm that's tasty. It. Claudia has this beautiful Spritzer. cocktail. It's called the Saucy Spritz. Okay. It's got Aperol, peach liqueur, lemon, orange juice, Prosecco, and club soda. It's beautiful. All right, let me give it a little try here. Since we're all vaxxed, we can do stuff like <laughs> yes, this. I know, right? That's delicious. Right? That's really good. Oh my Very goodness. Nice and Saucy's like killing it so far. <laughs> Tell your cousin. I will. <laughs> Claudia's cousin owns this place. I did remember to bring the Ale Trail book. Yeah, we, yeah, I get the cool. She's yeah. not, it's not as good as I wanted it to be. Um, from the Ale Trail book. And I got my Saucy stamp. So I officially have two stamps in my little Columbus Brewery passport. I'm not doing very well, but we have a year. You're slacking, So this and two tones. Yeah, I got two. You're, you're slacking. I've got way more. Get out of here. Well, take me places, Anne. Wine and dine me over here. Oh, uh, it's silly. Well, I even have, I even wrote Yellow Springs in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you did. I forgot about that. Yeah, Anne takes this ale trial very seriously. Well, like, I, 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 like, it's like a passport. I, I don't need to complete it. I completed it one year, but mm -hmm. it's not about completing. It's about remembering to go new places. Yeah. You know, the journey. Already? It's the friends we've made along the way. <laughs> All right, we're or in the midst of ordering our pizzas, but I did get some saucy balls. Gotta try that. This is beautiful. I think this is just like very pretty to look at. But apparently the meatballs are really good here, so we're gonna give them a try. So that means I can go back to work. There's a beer shortage? <laughs> mm hmm Because, because, a, because a lot of the crowd COVID last year, and so it gave a shut That's down. a good saucy ball. Excellent. Let me know how this bread is. Oh. Good? Good stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm actually super excited we're here as early as we are because I have terrible acid reflux and tomato based things really mess me up. So before bed, if I have any kind of like pasta sauce, pizza sauce, whatever, it's gonna get really sick. But since it's so early in the day, I can have this. It's gonna be fine. Very happy. We're still waiting on Ann's pizza, but this 
Oh wait, don't step back. This is what we're forward. What we're currently working on. Oh, there it is. Yes, thank there you. Go. There we go. <laughs> I gotta pan out. We got our work cut out for us. So we got the chicken and waffles pizza. This is the potatoes O'Brien pizza. And the Cleveland has like kielbasa mushrooms, peppers. You guys have potatoes O'Brien and this one has hash browns on it with peppers and onions. Chicken and waffles, very self-explanatory. Claudia over here got the bee's knees. For everyone, I want you all to know. <laughs> <laughs> she says this is the best thing they have and she does not mess with success. Because it's like a sweet, it has like a honey on it. Mm -hmm. And then Ann got veggie pizza. Mm -hmm. And you have a salad coming too, yeah? In theory. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> this is me good. I have a liter of beer. I'm going to drink this and play on the swings again. Like it's going to be a good day. I've tried all three of these now. And the initial plan was to get the chicken and waffles and the Cleveland over there with the kielbasa on it. This was a last minute decision because this is only available at brunch, this Potatoes O'Brien pizza. This is so good. This is so stupid good. These little bits right here are just crispy pieces of hash brown. It's like kind of like a McDonald's hash brown that you chopped up and put on top of this pizza. It's so good. You're trying the bee's knees right now? What do you think? Oh my God. There's so much cheese. There's like the sweetness to it. Oh, yeah. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna have to try that. But so far, like this Potatoes O'Brien pizza is everything to me. No, so that chicken and waffles. The chicken and waffles is your favorite? I really like the candy pecans on it. Like that's a nice touch. But this has like a layer of ricotta cheese the at the bottom. The texture of the, really yeah. the crunch. It's spicy, but it's not, no. All right, I just finished my liter of beer, which means I'm getting back on the swing. So we're back home sitting outside enjoying this weather while we still have it because it is supposed to rain the next few days after this and uh the neighbors got a weed whacker out so i'm gonna try to end this video real quick while it's quiet but oh my gosh what a delightful freaking afternoon right steven it was a delight how did you feel about saucy i liked it it was really good that pizza Oh, that pizza. The pizza was incredible. Dude, the chicken and waffle pizza was amazing. Yeah. The Potatoes O'Brien pizza, I could I could marry. Mm. That was so, so good. Should you be jealous of the Potatoes O'Brien pizza? Yes. Maybe a little bit. But that was so cool. Like, the food was good. The beer was good. I mean, there were some that, like, were not necessarily our jam. But, like, I liked most of the drinks I had. But that's every brewery, you know? Like, you're not going to like every beer they make. Can't really hold that against them. And the atmosphere, like the place in general, was just very cool. I liked it a lot. Thank you. Except for that one sports guy. Oh yeah, there was, <laughs> there was one guy that was watching sports like very loud and adamantly. And it was not like, it was not a sports bar sort of situation. So that was kind of funny. He kept like startling us because he would like scream at the baseball games and literally no one else was that interested. And so he wouldn't only just startle us. He'd actually, Steve saw him startle everybody in the entire bar. So that was kind of weird. Yeah, and he had a flip phone. Steve and Ann were very hung up on that. That was weird. That was not Saucy's fault. Thanks to Claudia for like inviting us out to do this. This was yeah, thank you, such Claudia. a treat. That was amazing. I missed your face. It was so nice to see you. I missed you. And so nice to like be out somewhere and feel normal and try something new. And um, you know, you turned us on to something different. We freaking loved it. So you're awesome. Uh, we'll do this again soon. And with that being said, I think Steve and I are just gonna relax the rest of the day and yeah. listen to the sweet, sweet sounds of the weed whacker outside. So, you guys have a good one. See you tomorrow. Bye.